Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Let's go to the Associated Press, where of course we've heard now for months that George Soros funded groups are going to start really ratcheting up protests as the spring comes. Um, and then I, I guess there's a plan for a million or multi-million person march on D.C. on May Day of this year. But AP is reporting that the ACLU is now launching nationwide training on protest and resistance. So we kind of see this buildup going on of a lot of preparation for future protests. Probably, again, when the spring gets a little bit, uh, when it gets here and it gets a little bit warmer, it says the ACLU staged a nationwide training event Saturday to make sure people are aware of their rights as protesters and urged organized public resistance by those opposed to policies of President Donald Trump. Organizers said the event at a sports arena on the University of Miami campus was live streamed to locations in all 50 states. ACLU Executive Director Anthony Romero said 200,000 people had signed up to attend one of an estimated 2,000 local events. The event staged in a town hall style was aimed at capitalizing on numerous demonstrations since Trump's election in November and to make sure people know their rights to protest. Romero said that uh, priority issues are immigration, the First Amendment, free speech, and religious freedom rights, civil and reproductive rights, and rights of gay, lesbian, and transgender people. So, I mean, you can see that there's a wide swath of people that are pretty upset with President Trump right now. And as the weather gets warmer, we should start to see an uptick in the amount of protests that are happening nationwide. And the question is why, you know, to what extent and what do they expect to gain as a result of these protests and what are they distracting us from? That's the other thing too is, you know, when all this is going on, like Ram Emanuel says, never let a crisis go to waste. What's going on behind the scenes while all the chaos and confusion runs wild on the streets of the United States. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot, and I'll have one again for you very soon. Have a great day, everybody.